you well, it kind of has. Once you tell one person, it's been announced. Once you tell one person in Makaha, it's been announced. <laughs> 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 Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai and that's Broke Lee. It's the number one podcast in uh, the island of Lanai. <laughs> right? It's the only podcast. It's the here. only one. Hey, before we go on and introduce our guest, you got to check out our new t-shirts. Man, he's that really we pushing did a, the shirts. A collab with 88 T's. Which one is I me and like which one I is Brooke? chunky. Yeah, you are. We both oh, wow. are. Okay. Because we're characters. Okay. Characters. We did a collab with 88 T's. And then we also did this one too. I like you like this one. This one's pretty. Yeah, we got to thank Amian and Luki. That one's a good one too. Yeah. you can pick them up um, at 88Ts down there on Kalakaua. Rep. Yeah. Rep it. Today's guest uh, has been in the business. I want to say 30 years. You don't need to put numbers on it. Yeah, well, it's not it, it, it shows on it, you how, how deep she goes. She's don't worked with numbers. Hawaii Five O, Polly Road, The Tempest. Uh, Indiana Jones. Every major movie um, that has come through these islands, she has, she has had a fingerprint yes. on at some point. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Angie LaPrette. How are you, Angie? Hi. Hi, guys. I'm nice really to see good. You. Good to see you guys. How many movies have you done? How many movies have you been a part I'm of so far? Round it. Um, round up. You know, it's interesting because I, I will say, yeah, it's been probably over 30 years. So, yeah. you know, and I'm still 20. So it's kind of, you know, you got to figure out yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from yeah. the womb. Child labor laws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know, I never really counted and I, I don't really look at IMDb or any of that. You right? should get them all the movie posters that you've done. Legit. You know, we have, we have a few and they're, we don't have room to put them up. So, you know, counting Chico's too. Right. And, and, um, and the Hawaii International Film Festival, of course, which is my love, but, um, shout out. Yeah. I don't know. I'd say a lot. And, That's and, awesome. <laughs> No. <laughs> that's, that's being super modest and, and low-key. And tell everybody, what do you do with these movies? So, you know, that's that's a good point because, you know, starting 30 years ago, I started as a production assistant and mm -hmm. um, just kind of worked my way up. And, and, and uh, I was a production coordinator for a pretty long time, you know, maybe about 10 years, which I really loved. And, uh, and then I went into the independent filmmaking world, which I really love, right? That's like my heart, you know? Yeah. And, and um, started to get into supervising and managing and then producing, which is what I, you know, do now. Um, it's, it, well, I have been for a while now, but um, yeah, so it depends on if you go to my IMDb, you can look at all my, you know, my whatever shows I worked on and it tells you what I was doing on each show. But you were producing even before you were getting credit for it because like you were the whisperer. If anybody came through town, like you, Brian, there's a couple of you guys who were like skeleton they keys. They always call. Yeah, like whether, you know, your your job title says you did this, but you were doing a lot more than that because... When the Howleys came here, they didn't know how to unlock all you the secret the cities. And the you guys knew how to do it. So yeah. you were the fixers. Yeah, you know, that's what they call them in commercials, the fixers, right? Yeah. And, and it's interesting because now that I live in L.A., right, I, I see things differently. Mm -hmm. see a whole different perspective of how things work and right. how... I mean, I, I'm really grateful for it because I see how special Hawaii is. Totally. Even more, right? Brick, you know. I mean, yeah. you lived in the mainland. And, 100%. Um, now you're yeah. like a protector. I, you know what? I've been using that word a lot. Lately. I tell Brian that too all the time. I do. I say, you know, we protect, we shield, you know, we, um, we support, you know, but it, it's not always easy. And yeah. you have to, you hope that you get the right, you know, as Brooke said, the Howleys. But, uh, you know, seriously, though, the mainland production companies, right? Yeah. They come. Yeah. We stay. You know, they yeah. come, they go, we stay. So it's our it's our responsibility to really um, take care. You know, yeah. it's always been a big goal of mine to, to elevate our own, right? For, for somebody who's watching right now, they don't know what a producer does. What do you do? Uh, you know, there's different types of producers, right? Yeah. So, um, by the way, I don't know where my eyeline is, so I'm sorry if I'm talking. No, you're here. good. You're good. <laughs> um, uh, basically, they're the ones that bring everything together. Yeah. Right? And so you have different levels of producers depending on how big your production is. You know, like the line producer handles, you know, usually is a combination of the production manager, which handles the budget, you know, and crew and all that. And then you have, you know, just the executive producer, which is a that oversees the whole production and they're involved with a lot of the writing and creative and all that, you know, 
And then for me, I'm more about, yeah, I'm more about just bringing everything together, right? You're the so, choreographer. But yeah. You're the band leader. She throws the luau and yeah. then she makes sure that everybody has their poi, their lomi salmon, the musicians are okay, the parking's yes. good. I wanted everyone to understand there's all different yeah. types yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah, things yeah, and that's yeah, what you yeah. do, which is one of the hardest jobs because then everyone looks to you if something goes and wrong. And if everything is going to crap, then, yeah. you know, it's all yeah, on your shoulders. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, I, that's why I love independent films where, you know, whether it's from Japan or Hawaii or China or wherever, it's it's so nice to be a part of a smaller group, you yeah. know, and you're able to manage. You know, I don't like to say control. I'm, I'm about collaborative. So it's about managing and bringing the right people together for each project because it can always be doesn't mean every single person on one project will be on the next one. Yeah. yeah. It's about what that project's about, you know? Yeah. You're yeah. putting a team together, a team of all stars, basically. Exactly. And, yeah. and, you know, like in Brian's world, it's all about water for him. And, and um, you know, he's a producer as well, but I'm saying like when he does water, right? Yeah. He's bringing the best people together. We, gotta, we have to take a quick break. Um, but when we come back, I want to ask you how you feel about all the talent we have in Hawaii. Don't go anywhere. Angie mm -hmm. LaPrede is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Angie LaPrette, producer, hanging out with us. And, uh, you know, before the break, I wanted to ask you about all the talent. I always tell people we have so much talent in Hawaii that we could be our own little Hollywood if no one moved away. Even, if, even in sports. Wow. Like, even our best... Even our best players, they get recruited everywhere out, outside. But we would be the number one state for volleyball, football, basketball if we kept them all. What do you think of the talent here in Hawaii? It's so true, Lenai. I mean, look at Brooke. She went away yeah. and came back, you know? Love yeah. her. Um, but, you know, I think that we have amazing talent, right? And you look at all the... You know, I hate to say or call it celebrities or whatever. I feel like, you know, everybody's a human being, right? So, yeah. like, I mean, you know, President Obama, Bruno. Yeah. I mean, all these people that have just, you know, just are out of this, you know, they're just be the level, you know, that we would never think of. I mean, as locals growing up, I mean, we inspire, right? And and we want to wish and hope and dream that we can do whatever we want to do. And, and that should never stop anyone right and and per capita we have a pretty good track record exactly <laughs> you look point. at you look that's at all the people the that's yeah. exactly the point lanai is like you look at look at it i mean my god you know i mean the big names right now in hollywood or anywhere in the you know world i mean hawaii ties you know yeah, yeah. why yeah. do you think that is angie um i don't know i i think that you know when you have opportunity you take it you know, yeah. because the thing is, we're so far away from the mainland we're, we're, we're you know, we're just kind of on our own. Right. And I look at the the I'll talk about the film industry since that's kind of my yeah. Yeah. And I look at the talent and um, it's about opportunity. If you don't have the opportunity, how do we show our talent? You know, yeah. so when you look back at Hawaii Five, I mean, all these shows that come to Hawaii. Right. And and um, the roles that are there for them uh it's sometimes it's stereotypical you know which becomes a bummer right yeah and uh but then other times and it's growing as you guys know it's all about diversity now totally yeah you know it's such a great time right now but um just having that opportunity to read for a casting director right yeah. or there's roles that are out there like oh my god are you kidding me it's actually written for an, an asian right or a right. polynesian or any of that you know, it's it's growing and it's I hope it's staying, you guys. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't think it's a trend. I think yeah. it's like, no, yeah. No, I think I and, think and the even behind the camera is. too, not just in front of the oh, camera. So that's much what talent. I mean. Like yeah. every, it's 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 music, it's film, it's TV, it's it's electronics, it's I mean, you know, President Obama. I mean it's yeah. it's you know, it's um my God. I, I, I was just thinking the other day, I forgot who it was. It was another Hawaiian person uh you know had ties or, or and is making it really big in, in somewhere i can't remember i'm sorry but um i was just like there there's another one you know yeah. and um you read about it and you're just like you get so proud right yeah it, it's really funny because we're so like because we're from hawaii we we have this special connection and even with nicole right yeah. 
I'm watching a mask singer, yeah. you know, and I'm just like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> she's repping, you know, and, and even Carrie Annie Lava, even your even your son, you know, like Aiden, even coming yeah. up, like he, he worked really hard from a very young age, and and it, you know he. The other thing I should say is not just opportunity, but you have to create your own path here too. Yeah. Because no one's going to do it for you. Yeah. I mean, a, a, a boy that looks like Aiden playing the ukulele at a young age, you know, making his own type of music, not capitulating to anybody. He could yeah. have done a pure heart album. He could have done local music. He could have done a lot of things. He could have gone pop. He could have gone J-pop. He could have done a lot of other people's buckets. But he was like, this is the kind of yeah. music I want to make. I, I asked that. I asked you that question because a lot of people ask me that question. And I, I always say, I think because when you're on an island, you have a little bit more hunger to become something or chase a dream than a normal person was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you just, well, you, you have punch, that edge. You gotta punch harder to get through the, Yeah, through you the, have a little edge yeah. on a step on everybody else, yeah. it seems like. Yeah. And, and you know, the whole thing about social media, you know, and all that, use it as a platform and it's worked, you know, for Bretman Rock. And then yeah. there's another guy, that's what I was thinking about was, uh, he's from the North Shore. He's a skateboarder, I think. And mm. he's now on a show. Uh, Gilmore Girls, I think. Um, do you guys know who I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about. The new Gilmore yeah. Girls. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I the new one. Right. There's a, but there's a lot of guys like that now, and exactly. girls like that. Yeah. I mean, you look at, uh, uh, what's his name, from Def Tech in Japan. Right. Nobody knows he's selling out arenas. Shen. You're Shen. Nobody knows he's, you know, doing those. There's so many little pockets of people from Hawaii. Yeah. For sure. and, and, you know, like I said, it's... Uh, what I love about what I'm seeing on the industry side, though, is opportunity for more roles. Yeah. But what, what I will say is, you know, these actors or, or people who want to become actors or want to entertain or whatever it is, you know, you, you need to train. You need yeah. to you work on your craft. We got to take a quick break, Angie. Sorry to interrupt you. When we come back, we'll finish this discussion. It's a Hawaii thing. Don't go anywhere. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Homeworld, locally owned and quality brands. Let us help you create your perfect home. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Angela Pret hanging out with us, Aiden's mom. And a producer. <laughs> Are you yeah. good with that? You, you, first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, because Aiden's about to break out. I mean, Aiden's is, already yeah. been, he's been a big star. Tell Hawaii everybody what Aiden's time. doing right now, your son. Okay, so Aiden is now 20, if you guys yeah. remember. 20. He was in, as Aiden James in Hawaii, and, and uh, that's his middle name. So, and he used it for a stage. And, you know, he had his um, an amazing, I'm going to say, Hawaii really embraced him. Right. The Hawaiian community embraced him. I mean, he's up for the Nahokus, right? When he was 13 yeah. and 14 doing what he was doing right and right. and um you know he never pretended to be anyone else nope. and so he you know he couldn't play hawaiian music he didn't ever want to you know it's like he didn't want to insult anyone you know but yeah. he, he used this instrument yeah and just made it his own you know and right. it, it was he had opportunity to fly all over the world to perform right so now he you know he's he's been acting since he was really 18 months it was his first commercial in hawaii mm. um but uh his newest i'm sure you guys have heard uh is he's on the show amazon series called the wilds mm -hmm. season two that's coming out may 6th awesome so and then you know he's in australia last year shooting for six months and uh and during the pandemic I, that's why i'm saying again about opportunity because these roles have come up right yeah what you know aiden looks like i mean you know and and anybody you know hoppers and and right uh polynesians of all you know um, we're gonna get him on the show soon too Who, yeah but anyway yeah. well you, you guys can interview him and yeah, uh, yeah. we gotta talk to his people but i want to talk to you about because we don't have a whole lot of time you you just finished working on a new project it didn't get announced getting picked up yet tell everybody what you've been working on uh which Wait. one are you talking about yeah you <laughs> gotta be specific because she got Kenui a lot road. oh got it can you road um yeah that was last year and you know what a um what a great project for Hawaii, you know, I, I don't know what's happening right now with it, but, um, you know, I, we're all hoping it gets picked up mm -hmm. and, uh, junior lifeguards on the North shore, very local story by Matt Kester. And 
you know, I have to say, I was following Matt Kester from Animal Kingdom. I love that show so much. And I'd worked with John Wells before in Hawaii doing ER two episodes like 20 years ago, you know. And I was always a fan of John because he loved Hawaii. He mm -hmm. loved, he, he owns a home in Kauai, right? So he got us, he got it, you know? And when I heard about this project um, is before the pandemic uh, and it got pushed, I was just excited, you know? Yeah. It was finally an opportunity to, to show Hawaii as is, you know? For real kind, right? Yeah. Right. And even cast as many locals as we could, you know? And who are you, who, where's it gonna, what platform? Well, it's HBO. Right, okay. I think it's HBO Max. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, we shot the pilot last year. Okay. It was you, Brian, the whole Scooby Gang, right? Yeah, Brian was a, um, you know, a producer on it, and it was, you know, it's a water show. It's, it's, oh my God, it was just so many great things came out of that. Um, and uh, I was a consultant, and that's, you know, you asking him what I do. I mean, it depends on the project. Yeah. So, you know, I'm usually the first call. And uh, not me always, but I'm just saying when it does happen, I'm usually the first call and then I start bringing the team together. Right. Yeah. So our our uh, our, our, our camera guy over here, Ruben, needs a job, by the way. He said hi. Real? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ruben, yeah, yeah. Real. you know, Ruben. <laughs> Ruben. Yeah. You better make me look good, Ruben, or I'm going to be. <laughs> He's on yeah. it. This is your, hey, this is your audition. <laughs> He's on it. He is on it. And what are you working on now, Angie? So there's a couple things. I'm coming home Monday, um, a show called Three Women out of Showtime. And it's a four day shoot. It's really great. This is another side I have to talk about is uh, it's really about women and, and the team. Awesome. The, producer, the director, the DP, AD, me, uh, UPM, we're all women. And nice. It's pretty awesome, you know, and, and it's a true story. Um, uh, it's a book actually called Three Women, but uh, the part that we're shooting about Hawaii is a real story based on a true scenes and who's scenes. who's writing this uh it's it's uh, out of the mainland oh, okay and, yeah it was well, adapted in the book so um but uh, that's one and then the other one is uh you know um the wig one everyone's waiting to talk about you know you're not gonna tell us <laughs> should i say uh, it so you don't have to say it no because she'll get in trouble because no, she won't because i said it but she's on the show so so legally no at least 20 people why told are you me, trying to 20 people sabotage know, the nation right it. now all right we gotta take a quick break we'll let you think about this one or else <laughs> I'm gonna say it. angela pred is hanging out with us don't go anywhere it's a hawaii thing get your house in order go to hificu.com and download the whole kelly guidebook today since 1846, St. Louis School is where boys who want to change the world become the men who do. Visit stlouishawaii.org. Keep the noise and heat out and the AC in with exclusive Ali'i Extreme windows from Windows Hawaii. Visit trustwindowshawaii.com today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Angie LaPrette hanging out with us. And uh, before the break, we were talking about another show that's going to be shot here. He's so the and, LA. Well, He's so the LA. The audition ad already came out. Everyone knows to go audition for this Mamoa show. Oh, look at him um, dropping the low key name. <laughs> well, you, do, you have for any, those under do you have any part of the this Kualoa Rocks? Show? Do you want to is it a put TV the J show? in front is of the Is it a Momoa? movie? What is it? Um, I think I can talk about it a little. I am a co-producer on it. Uh, you know, Jason, I'm just so happy, right? I mean, the whole Jason Aquaman is, Momoa, just so the world can just get it off the chest there. Know, so we, We've known each other for 20 years. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's such a loyal person. I'm going to just talk about Jason for a second because he's, he's so loyal, you know. And when he reached out to me a while ago about it, you know, it got pushed. It kept getting pushed. But um, now that it's, you know, in the works, um, uh yeah, it's him and, and Pa's story, and it's so beautiful, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And, and I'm in there, you know, trying to get as many locals uh, together on the team, you know? Uh, that's awesome. You should say that. That's a good thing that you're going to get locals in on that. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's always <laughs> Ruben's my... raising his hand and waving it furiously back and forth. Oh, too so am I. Yeah, no, I'm, it's, you know, it's still early. It's still yeah. early. So it's, it's um, early who's, stages. Who's writing it, this? So pa, uh, Jason and Pa. And, they both uh, wrote it. Okay. Their, their story. And there's another, uh, uh, Doug Jung is, is also, I think it's, um, it's on that casting thing. Um, but it's their series. It's for Apple. That's awesome. And um, Endeavor content. And, and yeah, it's the first of its kind, you guys. Right. Yeah. So 
I mean, of course, everyone is so excited and and talk about protecting and and supporting. You know, there's a big responsibility. I feel yeah, that. Right? Of course, As a producer. Like, um, there's there, it's not just another production coming to Hawaii. It's there's layers, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have to, um, you know, re- sensitivities, authenticities, responsibilities. The well, that's why, Krebs syndrome. That's why Jason. <laughs> that's probably why Jason called you too, is because he needs to make sure that everybody's. Oh, no. you know on on yeah, the same page i, I yeah. think he called it's me and brian right and yeah. so yeah. you know he just he trusts us and that's yeah. it was imp- and, and so yeah i feel like it's a big and response. the important thing that a lot of people don't understand when they move away and then they come back is people like you people like brian you have to be able to interface it's one thing to be local and be able to work on local productions but when you have to turn around and talk to hollywood talk do you know what i mean in order to make things work yeah it's a very it's a very specific skill to be able to translate back and forth so that everybody's happy because usually it's just a take you know what i mean it's usually an i hui they come they want to shoot it this way i don't care what the context is i don't care just make it happen and then you guys have to be like uh, what's the ROI on this? Yeah. You know, what's going to be the blowback? And so now that you guys are in charge, large and in charge, it's going to be a whole different level of how you guys can yeah, tell I, the story. You know, I wouldn't say I'm in charge, but I'm, I'm part of the team. I always look at it as collaborative, right? Mm. And I'm here for, you know, to be the bridge, right? Yeah. And, and, uh, and I, you know, it, it's, it's an important show and, and no one's ever seen this globally, right? No one's right. ever yeah. seen you know there's no pressure it's a lot it's gonna be a lot of pressure pressure cooker can you tell everybody uh just what it's about not yet uh it's called chief of war and i'll leave it at that all right cool (laughs) we have some uh we want to thank you for being uh taking your time here i know you had you have we have have hurting gifts what go ahead one last thing yeah go ahead just because we're talking about you know hawaiians and the stories uh. and how you know it's very timely so you guys know about the wind and the reckoning right yeah that's the film we shot during the pandemic on the big island in kohala and um, in hawaiian in Maka- yes. Hawaii over right there. and i'm sorry to, to i know you guys want to cut me off but i just want to say that no. um you know it's going to be coming out soon and um you guys, I think, will be super proud. It's 80% in Hawaiian language. Awesome. Yeah. Jason Scott Lee. Yeah, he, Jason was talking about it, yeah. Reppin. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there you go. You know nice. about Nice. I know you have to go do guitar lessons in a minute. No, Brooke, what do, you, what do you have there for our We're parting gifts? We're getting all kinds of uh, makana over here. So you have Hawaiian chips coming your way from the chip company. A bougie bottle from Bougie Bottle. To put your alcohol in. Uh, macadamia nuts from Manahune Max. And because you're always at 88 Tees, I decided to get you some sweat clothes. So you're going to get some sweatshirts from Ila Swim and then some sweatpants from Ila Swim USA from Avian. And then whiskey. Did you hold up the whiskey? Yeah, I did. And you got some whiskey from Old Old Poly Poly Whiskey. whiskey. Coming your way. Oh, wait, a pigeon emoji. Sorry. Yes, and it's a pigeon emoji. I love that, Lanai. I know that's you. Yeah. Tell, tell Chico and Aiden we said hi. Thank you so much. And keep doing what and you're doing, Aya. Angie. We're, so, pr- Aya, we're so proud of you, of everything oh, that you're doing, God. and, of course, There's representing you. Hawaii. We're going to go to Thank YouTube. Thank you guys for watching the extended version on YouTube. More with Jason Angie, Momoa so go check us in. out. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace Ahui ho. Aloha. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, hanging out with a movie producer, television producer, Angie LaPrette. And stage mom. Yes, and stage mom. <laughs> Not Angie, anymore. Angie, uh, Angie, what is, uh, what, what's that one movie that you really enjoyed doing in the past, your whole career? That one that sticks out. You just had a good time doing it. Yeah, I know you were going to ask me it for some reason. <laughs> when I, um, you know, <laughs> there's, there's. A couple, right? For different reasons, I should yeah. say, right? So, like, Baywatch Hawaii to me was pretty special because that's where we met. Were, that's right. Is, is that's where we met. P- huh? they, that's where you went. Yeah, I, I met Angie on Baywatch. Weird. Okay. Did you see Lanai in the red shorts? Yeah. Nobody talks about it. Ad <laughs> me, nauseum, me, and Augusto. So. We were the Beach Boys. We did like six City or seven. Counts. Yeah, six you or did. Seven episodes. Augusto, yeah. I would say because you know Greg Bonin to me was a really great leader. You know, yeah, and he loved Hawaii. He embraced Hawaii. Um, he uh, he, and everybody on the show loved 
you know, loved it. We had a yeah. great time. It was yeah. fun times, you know. That that was one show I felt stress fee, free, stress yeah. free, I should say. Um, the Jason, Tempest was and that's, a, is, is that where you met Jason too? Yeah, J- I did. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah, we were so close, all of us, you know, the yeah. whole cast, and um, it was just a good time. And it was, you know, pre pre Mother Days, right, Brooke? Pre pre, you know, pre. <laughs> That's why it was no stress uh, because there girl, was no kids. Yeah. Girl, girl, yeah. It was, yeah. Thank God for no, you know, no, no social media back then. Yeah. But anyway, that's a whole different story. So, uh, and Tempest was a really awesome project. You know, that was um, a co local production. You know, with Talk Story, Jason and uh, those guys um, over there. Uh, but it was it was great because we had so many challenges. You know, that's where we shot on Lanai. That's yes. Where we sh- yes. And you know, Angie, and yester- yesterday, yeah. I got to tell you, you bring that show up. A lady who was uh, Linda, I think was her name, came up to me and said, hey, I met your mom. And we were talking about my mom. I go, how'd you meet my mom? She goes, we did this show on Lanai called Tempest. And I was like, holy crap, that was 20 years ago or something. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it was just that was it was high level, you know, with the cast. I mean, a listers crazy you know yeah and here we are on lanai and there's a fire in the middle of the field that uh, it was just everything we could think of the town hall Uh and you know that was our production office but on the weekends they would have craft fairs yeah or or funerals Funerals. (laughs) and we had to move out we had to move out every week it was just like crazy um and then the town hall (laughs) it was i'm telling you it was unbelievable and we got to stay at the Coele Lodge right oh yeah. my god and um and then then we shot on the big island you know we went Oahu big island it was just amazing that was another great show um can you watch that anywhere right now is that on any platform that's a good know? question I I don't know I don't I know but we I don't even know is if this we like the it. Tempest Tempest like Shakespearean yeah. Tempest? Yeah. Yes. Tempest? was it, who was yes. on there Angie was it was it Rosie uh, O'Donnell on there no no, that was Garden it was, of Eden. God, there's so many people. Um, Jaiman Hansu, Christopher, uh, oh my God, my favorite actor, and I forgot his name. Um, uh, Alfred Molina. Oh, okay. But, but, I mean, it's it's like so, oh, Helen Mirren. Oh, yes. Of course. That's oh, yeah, right. love her. And it was just huge. It was yeah. a huge list of A-list actors. I and do um, it right now. David Strathern was another one. Yeah. David Strathern, what was great about him is, you know, he found out that he had some Hawaiian in him. What? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And then, you know, he, because the show was so hard and we were shooting up by Sweet, Sweetheart Rock. Yes. Um, you know, we had, we didn't have a huge crew and it was like, you know, we had to carry things up and he actually wasn't working that day and helped the crew, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Helen you know, that's... Marin, Russell Brand, Alfred Molina. Oh, that's right. Russell Jimon, there you go. There you go. Jimon Hansu and Alan Cumming. Oh, it's huge. That's where I met Alan. Yes. And That's insane. Un- insane. And great times we had. And Everybody... it's on Amazon. So oh, go... Amazon. Oh, I got to go watch so it. Go Amazon. buy it for nine ninety nine. You're welcome, Amazon. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice one. So yeah, those two so... those two stick out a lot to you? Baywatch, uh, Tempest, anything else? Yeah. I mean, you know, Polly Road was pretty special. You know, I look at all the independent films and and oh oh and um Hanalei Bay was a good one you know just because it was a co-production with Japan uh-huh. it, it's uh, you know how much I love Japan Japanese people oh yeah. there this is my I'll, I'll say this uh, we did a short film in Mexico it was a co-production with the director of Hanalei Bay uh, he came back and and it was about immigrants in Mexico and it was a short film uh, and to me, that was one of the most incredible experiences in my life. That's just awesome. seeing how we had to do things unscripted, you know, trying to catch the immigrants on the train passing by. You couldn't, you just had to wait, you know, yeah. getting these images. And it was about opening Japan's eyes to what's outside. Cause I don't think, uh, they understand immigration as much as, right. you know, the U S right. And of course the wind and the reckoning, I should say that because yeah. that was, a the most challenging show I think I've ever done in my life. Do you get a lot of scripts come your way? Like how many a month, how many a year? Um, You know, I used to, and I had to kind of stop because of, you know, legal reasons, of course. Right. Um, And, and you just need to protect and, and uh, 
you just don't want anyone saying, because I will say this, like you look at all the content out there, a lot of it overlaps. Yeah, it's just told, totally, it, totally. And it just to, it's told a different way, right? I you interviewed, know, uh, and, I, I interviewed yeah. Dr. Dre once and he said every month he would get a box. Of, this is back in the day, a box of cassette tapes from people giving him his, their demos. And then he put out a song a year or two later and a couple people tried to sue him because they said, I sent you that song. It sounded like my song. So then he stopped taking demos. He don't take any it's demos tough. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a tough one. As much as I'd love to help and read and, and um, it's, it's just, you got to protect, you know, protect yourself, yeah. protect them too. What so. were we just talking about with Kavika about a, gr a good show would be? Oh, Waikiki in oh, the in, 60s in and the 70s. 60s and 70s yeah. yeah, with all the when musicians. All the Hawaiian musicians yeah. were out and about. Don Ho era, you know. I would yeah. say that if, you know, the show, Jason's show um, does well, which I, I can't imagine it won't, but just getting out there, you know, I, we all hope, right? Yeah. That the Helps stories everybody. are going to come. The stories are going to be able, you know, there will be a platform. Um, that studios will be interested in, in not Hawaii is just a location, but really yeah. about telling stories. So you know? many, yeah. so many. Yeah. The so I, many. Me and Brooke always talk about the immigration to Hawaii is another great story, you know, from Chinese, Japanese, Filipinos, from just the whole 1800s. Oh, yeah. Dante was talking to you about that. Yeah. Too, Bosco. We're talking to Dante Bosco. Evidently, about that. Dante Bosco says there's two Filipinos that are um, helped sign the uh, incorporation of Los Angeles. They're on oh, the yeah. founding oh, wow. documents. Yeah. So he was like, uh, whoever the mayor was then, Via La Grossa, mm -hmm. told him, you should look into that. You need to tell that story. He's like, Filipinos yeah. helped found Los Angeles. There's so many great stories. And that all started because the Filipinos working on the plantation here was helping yep. bring the sugar cane to San Francisco, California yeah. and Hawaii, C&H Sugar. And they all lived in Vallejo to cut asparagus. They still live in Vallejo. And, and now wow. the biggest population of Filipinos is in San Francisco via Hawaii. And Vallejo. And uh, Daily City. Daily City. Yeah. Daily City. Yeah. 2.0. So many great stories, though. You yeah. Know, the Chinese. And, and what were we For talking sure. about? The Spanish reintroducing us the guitar when they brought cattle. Can go mm -hmm. on and on. So what, yeah. you, um, you, do you like, have you ever been in front of the camera, Angie? Ooh. Like now. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, like, when you um, first started, did you do any yeah, when I So when I was in high school, right? This is a uh -huh. funny story. I went to Mauna Lua. 1980, whoop, whoop. the kind. Um, the Menahunis. Menahunis. And, um, you know, my friends used to call me, it's even on my yearbook, it says Angela Star, in quotes, La Prette. Because nice. I always wanted to be in the business, right? They all yeah. knew that I loved performing. And I entered, you know, brown bags and all that. And I was horrible. Wait a um, minute. What year were you oh, in brown no, bags? No, 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 no. I, was, I was so bad. <laughs> He's going to find <laughs> it. I have to tell you, it's so funny because I'm in one of the album covers. There's like a little, you know how they had a montage yeah. of all the, I'm in one of them. And, really? Um, yeah, no, but I, I didn't make it to like, you know, the final the show. Anything. You didn't make it I to was, the Waikiki show? I was not good. No, I was not good. Um, and, you know, back then it's funny because, you know, Hawaii people are so forgiving. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say like, they just embrace, you know, and they forgive and they don't care if you're not that good, you know. And my best friends didn't, didn't even tell me like, oh, my God, Angie, you shouldn't be singing. right? <laughs> so so, so I, I did a song and Aiden knows this story because I used to be in love with Tony Danza. OK, <laughs> <laughs> and so weren't um, we all girl, weren't we all? Yeah, I'm telling you. And I wrote a song about Tony Danza called This Special Love. Pick up that and guitar. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and Aiden's like, and I produced it. Play. <laughs> and um, do you guys know Lester Ganton? Of yes. course. Yeah. yeah. So Lester, Lester was my, you know, he went to Mauna Loa, oh. and he was on the piano playing it and uh, with me in the in the talent show. And he, you know, we, we whenever I see him, we just crack up. But um, but yeah, so I did that. And then I uh, I did another song, Open Arms. You remember Open Arms? Yeah. Journey song Journey. on a guitar. Wow. Yeah, because I used to play guitar and I danced hula for so long and and you know and then I played the accordion for eight years. Accordion. What? Yeah. What? Who? I don't know anybody plays. Who the teaches accordion in Hawaii? <laughs> well, it's kind of like the a, piano. It was yeah. You know, <laughs> being half Italian or a quarter, you know, quarter Italian. My my dad was Italian, so it was the instrument. And I grew up in Kalihi, right? So 
I, we live in this apartment building, and I swear to God, I was so embarrassed playing the accordion because it's super loud. <laughs> and I would be practicing, <laughs> and the whole neighborhood could hear, yeah! <laughs> and you know, I'd be like this, that is right? Insane. And, and um, yeah. Can I used you still to play? Can you still play? I, still, I can play a couple. Like the, the song that everybody learns when you play the accordion is uh-huh. The Entertainer. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Da, right? So um, I, could, I think I could play a little bit. I have my accordion somewhere over here. Um, oh I told God. Aiden I'll join his, you know, band. And That's he's so like, funny. Um, Go get it. Go get um, it. So on my Jack bucket Johnson, list, you know? on my bucket list of things to do is to contact Tony Danza so she can perform this song <laughs> for him at his roast whenever that will happen. <laughs> Why do you and, know him? And no, and then oh. two. Lucy Liu is the only other person I know of who plays the accordion. Does she really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. So y'all will have to do like a duo of like dueling that um, is so funny. Yeah. accordions. For Oktoberfest or that something. That would be hilarious. Is, yeah. Actually, Lester it hired me for something. It was Oktoberfest or something like, I mean, you know, years ago. Because I started when I was like third grade, right? And With the accordion? Was, How could you even lift that thing? I, you sit down and you lift it. And it you know, they have exercise. smaller ones. Yeah, they have smaller and bigger ones. No have, wonder your your yeah. upper arms you know, have Tim always Cariente. been super buff. Now I know no, why. Tim Cariente no. plays the accordion. That I would not yeah, have really guessed. Good, but look, at, look at Jack Johnson. Yeah. He's an accordion player. In his, Seriously? You know, yeah. I have yeah. no idea. Yeah. I yeah. didn't even know they came to the islands. I didn't it's know so you could a, a go down to House of Music at Ala Moana because <laughs> this is the era we're in yeah. when we would buy all of our sheet music over yes. there at House of Music downstairs where the ABC store is now. And they had accordions maybe that you could oh buy God, off the that's show. That's crazy. Brooke, I totally remember that. I had to buy my sheet music there. Our teacher was called Mrs. Uh, Wang. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, and there was, was a like, whole wall of just sheet music. And then you would go home, yeah. watch Fame, right, yeah. that weekend. Mm-hmm. And then you'd go there to go look for Body Electric or whatever song they were singing and grab all of the cheers. You know, I remember playing for uh, Mayor Fossey. There was some kind of big convention or something, you know. And we we all played. The accordion? Yeah, we had a concert. It was like eight of us, you know. The accordion, the accordion concert. That's awesome. Now I know where Aiden gets it from. Yeah. Not the well, murder I, I, vibe, but... Like. I don't know, though. But I, at least I had rhythm, right? And, yeah. And so, that, you know, Aiden has really good rhythm, so... so. Anyway. That is so cool. Good for you. Yeah. We got to get you to play the accordion uh, oh next time you come. Oh, my God. It's so going to happen. You. Yeah. So start practicing. So going to oh happen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Going to yeah. happen. Who's uh, one of your favorite actors that you worked with? Oh, God, Lamai. Yeah, it's like naming your favorite it's kid. Okay. It's, it's very you know difficult you, to do. There's that one you might have grew up watching, like Tony Danza, and then you ended up working with I actually him, met or... Tony Danza, and I will say, I have to tell you this quick story, if you don't mind. No, go ahead. But, um, so I was in love with Tony Danza. Mm-hmm. I was in college at UC Santa Barbara, and um, I heard he was, Tom Moffat brought him in for a concert. In Honolulu? Uh, with, yeah, it was with Tony Bennett, and Tony really? Danza was opening for him. I don't know if you guys remember this. Yeah, he and used to so sing, I was yeah. like. Yeah, and I was like, oh, my God. So I, you know, called Tom, well, not email Tom back then. There was an email. I was like, Tom, oh, my God, I love Tony Danza. Can I meet him backstage, you know, afterwards? And Tom's like, oh, of course, and, you know. So then um, before that happened, I went to go see Who's the Boss in person. Because, you know, back in the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. you're, you can, you're, a, you're a college student at this point I in was. time. So I went to go see the show live. Because you remember back then? You yeah, could go yeah, you'd be live this, taping. Yeah. yeah. And I had my mac- chocolate macadamia nuts, wow. and um, I went by myself, and I put it in a Ralph's grocery bag. I didn't even know what Ralph's was, but uh, that's all I had, right? And Ralph's is a grocery store in yeah. Ca- California, yeah. right? So I get to this, the place, and I, I'm, you know, they finish taping. I stand at the railing, and I see Tony, and he comes up, and he smiles. And I go, hi, I'm from Hawaii, you know? <laughs> I said, just brought you something, you know? And he lo- he opened it up. He's like, oh, my God, it's macadamia nuts. Right? He shows everybody on the crew. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm dying, right? And so that was when I first met him. Wow. So I get home. I get home, and this this is like maybe six months later during high, you know Christmas vacation, mm-hmm. and he's doing the show with Tony Bennett. I come backstage, and he remembered me. And he oh, goes, that's so cool. You're, he goes, you're the girl that brought me the, you know, the chocolate mm-hmm. macadamia nuts. It was really funny. That's such uh, a Hawaii thing, isn't it? It is. Totally. And, and 
It was so sweet. So, I, yeah, I'll, I'll send a picture to you guys later of me and Tony. But, it's um, more of a Hawaii thing that she's a college student and has a direct line to <laughs> yeah, one of the well, biggest promoters yeah. on the planet in Hawaii oh, yeah. and is able I to pick up a phone time. and be yeah, like, hi, him, yeah. can you get me backstage? Yeah, well, that's, a, such a, good that's reason a Hawaii thing. I met Tom because I, during college at UH first, before I went to Santa Barbara, um, I did an internship at KIKI. Oh, oh man. Yes. It was coming. It was my Sunday. first radio station. It was, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, it was, it was Aku Sean in the Sweeney. morning. Yeah, yeah Tom, Tom, right? Tom was you know, there. And, hey, um, Angie, you know Sean passed, yeah. right? Oh, I didn't hear yeah, that. Yeah, Sean's like really? my my dad. I never had a dad. He was like my dad. Yeah, just recently. Sean. Sean oh, recently. Sweeney. Sean till Don oh, Sweeney. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Such a Sorry good guy. Sorry to hear that. He was yeah. such a good guy. And and back then, you know, DJs were, you know, they were stars back they then, right? They were the right? biggest and, thing and, on the planet. And Tom was at the station, and that's actually where I did my internship was with Tom Moffat. And um. we, had, yeah, I had a show called Jellyfish. And I have it on my cassettes, actually, because I recorded it. <laughs> I have it there. Aww. Yeah. So anyway, that's What's how I met cassette? Tom. What's a cassette? Yeah, exactly. Liar. Well, everyone thinks it's cool now, right? And I'm yes. like, oh, please, here. You know, here's the real deal. <laughs> you want to see cassettes? I'll show you cassettes. <laughs> people, are, people are collecting them now. Yeah. I know. Well, I Angie, know. thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for yeah. coming on. I know you don't like to do these, so I really yeah. appreciate it. We appreciate it. We love you. I love you guys. And, I, we and love you. And thank you for it. Come visit us when you come home. I know we always talk about getting together. We, yeah. We, we always talk we'll about go stand, stand up paddle, paddle boarding. See, yeah, exactly. but, but we never do. Yeah, <laughs> we never do. Thank you guys. I'm so happy. Great show. And I get mean, us, you know, get us uh, Aiden's guys. people's information, and then yeah, we'll talk to, to his Aiden people. Too. You know, he's I'll a big star now. People's. Yeah. Correct. Thank you, okay. Angie Lapret. Yeah. Thank you guys so much Thanks for, for being watching. Awesome. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Tell all your friends. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. It's a Hawaii thing. Aloha.